Are you sick of your nine to five? What if I told you that working after dark could be your way to a better financial future? And I've seen firsthand how breaking free from the nine to five grind can transform your life. I went from sleeping in cars and racking up $300,000 in student loan debt to making over a hundred thousand a month with a flexible location independent career. And it took a lot of work for me. And honestly, I had to do things that most people my age weren't doing. So if you think working a night job might be your ticket to a life that's more financially free, then stick to the end of this video because I'm going to reveal the 13 work from home jobs that are perfect for the graveyard shift. But before we dive into the night jobs, I want to offer you something crucial because one thing that I keep noticing over and over again is remote job scams. And even with remote jobs that are not scams, some of them are ones that you probably want to avoid. And I've even made dedicated videos on this, but it's honestly so important that I've created a free guide called Remote Work Red Flags, how to spot and avoid work from home scams. And this guide will teach you how to identify legitimate opportunities and avoid scams. And the link is in the description in the pinned comment below. Now let's dive into those 13 work from home night jobs. First is going to be an after hours virtual receptionist. And this is perfect for all the night owls out there who love to chat with people. And in this position, you'll be the voice on the other end of the line when someone calls a business after regular hours. You might be scheduling appointments for a dental office, taking messages for a law firm, or even dispatching emergency services for a plumbing company. The key here is flexibility and a calm demeanor. You never know what kind of call you'll get next. And hey, if you can handle angry customers at 2 a.m., you can handle anything life throws at you. People can be rude sometimes, but it's all part of the role. Now, when it comes to the salary, this job pays decently well. It pays between $34,000 and $47,000 a year, but with experience, you can earn even more. So with this job, it's relatively easy to get into, but the truth is it doesn't pay as well as a lot of the other ones that I'm gonna mention on this list. With that being said, if you're enjoying this content so far, do me a quick favor and smash that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm show this video to more people who could benefit from these jobs and ideas. Next, we're gonna talk about the IT support specialist role. Now you might be thinking, Shane, isn't this just turning things off and on again? Well, sometimes it is, but it's so much more than that. And as an IT support specialist working the night shift, you'll be the hero for companies with global operations. Imagine this, it's 3 a.m. and a crucial system goes down in the London office just as their workday is starting. Who are you gonna call? Not Ghostbusters, that's for sure. You'll swoop in, remotely access their systems, and save the day before they can even finish their morning tea. And the best part, you can do all of this from the comfort of your home office or your couch. We don't judge. Now, just as an example, a day in this person's job involves providing IT support, troubleshooting desktop issues, and swapping hardware in a data center while continually learning new skills like scripting and networking to improve efficiency and grow in the field. And the pay isn't too shabby either, with many positions offering $49,000 to $70,000 a year. And the best thing is, this is just entry-level pay. There are many positions you can go into down the line that are either IT-related or technology-related in general that pay much higher. Now, here's a job that might surprise you overseas math tutor. I know, I know, math at night sounds like a nightmare, right? But hear me out. This job is perfect if you're good with numbers and you enjoy teaching. And it's not just math, basically anything that you're good at that people commonly need to learn all around the world, like English or chemistry or biology. With the rise of online education, there's a huge demand for tutors who can work with students in different time zones. So imagine sipping your coffee at midnight while helping a student in China prepare for their calculus exam. Not only are you making money, but you're also also making a real difference in someone's education. And let's be honest, there's something oddly satisfying about solving complex equations while the rest of the world is dreaming about, well, probably not math. So just as an example, a student posted on Reddit because they're seeking advice on becoming a math tutor at their university. And a user responded that to be a good math tutor or a tutor in general, you would need to have a deep understanding of the topic to be able to explain it. Now, depending on your qualifications and the platform that you work for, you can earn anywhere from 43 to $79,000 a year. Now, the way that tutoring works is the the more niche or the more rare your skill set is, the more you're going to get paid to tutor people. So it's basically an equation like this. How much do people want the skill that you have? And how rare is the skill that you have? And if people want the skill that you have a lot and your skill is extremely rare, you're going to get paid more money. So it's always a good idea to look for opportunities where you can tutor people. It's something that you're already good at anyways. Next is going to be a roadside assistance dispatcher. And this job is perfect for those of you who love problem solving and have a 
knack for staying calm under pressure. And as a roadside assistance dispatcher working the night shift, you'll be the guardian angel for stranded motorists. Picture this, it's 2 a.m., pitch black, and someone's car just broke down on a deserted highway. Who are they gonna call? You guessed it, you. Your job is to assess the situation, dispatch the appropriate help, and provide reassurance to the stranded driver. And it's kind of like being a superhero, but instead of a cape, you wear a headset. And the best part, you can do all of this from the comfort of your home office. No need to brave the elements or deal with grumpy mechanics face to face. And while this is a really good job, just like anything else in life, there are downsides to it. For instance, this roadside assistance dispatcher here who posted on Reddit that in these calls and situations, people have a hard time answering questions, which can be very frustrating. And this person who explains that being a roadside assistance dispatcher is really a phone job, but without the cold calling and upselling that many salespeople do. And companies also do hire pretty quickly for these positions because they're in pretty high demand. And there's a lot of turnover because of the fact that the night shift isn't for everyone. Now, the pay for this role typically ranges from $35 to $50,000 a year. So it doesn't pay that well, but it's also one of those jobs that's really easy to get. Start working remote, start working the night shift, and then you can probably go on to better jobs down the line. Now, by the way, while you're watching this video, Video, go ahead and comment down below your favorite night job. Maybe it's one that was mentioned in this video, and maybe it's one that we didn't mention at all. Now let's talk about a job that's close to my heart, medical scribe. As a former pharmacist, I can tell you firsthand how crucial this role is in the healthcare industry. A medical scribe is essentially the Robin to a doctor's Batman. You'll be taking notes during patient consultations, updating medical records, and basically making sure the doctor can focus on what they do best, which is treating patients. And here's the thing, many hospitals and clinics now offer remote medical scribe positions for the night shift. So you could be helping doctors save lives from the comfort of your home. And it's kind of like playing a supporting role in a real life medical drama, minus the bad coffee and uncomfortable scrubs. So just as an example, in a typical day, this person assists an orthopedic surgeon by documenting patient visits, charting findings, and gaining clinical experience as a medical scribe. So this is a phenomenal entry-level job for you to get if you want to go on to become a doctor or a dentist or a physician associate or a nurse practitioner or a pharmacist. And this job typically pays around 33 to 40 $9,000 a year, but with experience, you could earn more. Moving on to our next nocturnal opportunity, transportation coordinator. Now you might be thinking, Shane, isn't this just a fancy term for truck dispatcher? Well, yes and no. As a transportation coordinator working the night shift, you're essentially the conductor of a global symphony of movement. You'll be coordinating shipments, managing drivers, and solving logistical puzzles that span multiple time zones. And the best part, you can do this all from your home office. Imagine orchestrating the movement of goods across the country or even the world while wearing your favorite pajamas. And it's kind of like playing a real life version of Tetris, but instead of blocks, you're fitting shipments into trucks and planes. So just as an example, in a typical day, Courtney Wolf manages transportation logistics by coordinating with truck drivers and customers to ensure freight is moved efficiently while negotiating pricing and finding the best transportation solutions. And the pay for this role can vary widely, but you can expect to earn anywhere from fifty-two dollars to $76,000 a year, with potential for more as you gain experience. Now, if you're finding value in these job ideas, why not share this video with a friend who might be looking for a night job? You never know, you might just change someone's life. Next up, we have a job that might surprise you, real estate closer. Now you might be wondering, Shane, who's buying houses in the middle of the night? Well, in our globalized world, real estate never sleeps. And as a real estate closer working the night shift, you'll be facilitating property transactions across different time zones. You might be finalizing paperwork for a family in California, buying their dream home, or helping an investor in Asia close a deal on a New York apartment. And it's kind of like being a financial matchmaker, bringing together buyers, sellers, and mountains of paperwork. And the best part, you can do all of this from your home office. No need to don a suit or shake hands. And in this video from Flipping Mastery TV, the two experts discuss strategies and philosophies for becoming an effective real estate closer, emphasizing the importance of communication skills and understanding the seller's perspective in sales. And the pay for this role can be quite lucrative with many closers earning between fifty dollars and $80,000 a year, plus potential bonuses for high value transactions. And of course, it's easier to get into this role if you're willing to do the night shift. So this could be one of those situations where you actually end up getting into a very lucrative career and you get your foot into the door in that career by doing the night shift first. Speaking of closing deals, you know what's even better than being a real estate closer? Taking those exact same skills into the tech industry. And one of the most common questions I get on this channel is, Shane, you have all these amazing jobs that you present, but I want to learn the skills necessary to do these jobs. Because even though they are entry level and they don't require a college degree or previous experience, it is a lot better if you already know something about what you're going to be doing. And what I always tell people to do 
is to go to Coursera. Coursera literally has thousands of either free or very affordable training opportunities and certificates that will tell you exactly how you can do the skills needed for these jobs. And you can click the link down in the description in the pinned comment to check those out. So our next job is both challenging and incredibly rewarding, crisis counselor. As a crisis counselor working night shifts from home, you'll be providing emotional support and resources to people in their darkest hours. You might be talking to someone through a panic attack at 2 a.m. or helping a teenager deal with the thoughts of self-harm. And it's not an easy job, but it's one where you can make a real tangible difference in people's lives. And let's face it, crises don't conveniently happen during business hours. That's why many crisis hotlines offer remote night shift opportunities. Now, in this video, they deep dive into what crisis counselors do on a day-to-day -day basis. And the guest, Rachel, is a personal injury intake specialist. And she assesses potential clients, gathers case information, and helps determine if the personal injury law firm can take on their case. Now, this job does typically require some training or a degree in psychology or social work, but it does vary. And they pay around forty-three dollars to $67,000 a year. So this one's definitely not for everybody, but it is an option that you can look into. To. And by the way, this is one of the many random medical related careers out there. There are literally thousands of these little niche medical related careers, just like the next one on the list, which is a donation coordinator. And in this position, you're working the night shift and you'll be the bridge between generous donors and the organizations that they want to support. Now, in this case, it could be donors of bone marrow or organ donors or blood donors, or it could be people who are donating money as well. And you'll be processing the online donations, answering questions about tax deductions or even coordinating emergency relief efforts. And it's kind of like being Santa's helper, but instead of toys, you're delivering hope and support to those who need it most. And many nonprofits and charitable organizations offer these positions with flexible work from home options, including night shifts. And in this Reddit Ask Me Anything post, an organ recovery coordinator is offering to answer questions about the organ donation process. Now the pay for this role is a little bit on the low side, about $39,000 to $57,000 a year. But again, it is a relatively easy job to get into. And it can also be really good experience if you want to get a higher paying medical job down the line. Next up, we have a job that's perfect for all of you tech savvy night owls out there, which is the website maintenance technician, or you can also call these people website administrators. And in this position, working the night shift, you'll be the unsung hero of keeping websites running smoothly while their owners sleep soundly. Now you might be updating content, fixing broken links, or even thwarting hacking attempts. And it's kind of like being a digital janitor, but instead of mopping floors, you're cleaning up code and sweeping away bugs. And because the websites need to be operational 24 seven, many companies offer these positions with work from home options, including the night shift. And this web administrator basically spends their day setting up, configuring and maintaining e-commerce websites by managing DNS records, payment gateways, user roles and troubleshooting issues. And according to ZipRecruiter, a website maintenance technician earns about $65,000 a year. Moving on to our next nocturnal opportunity, development coordinator. Now, as a development coordinator working the night shift, you'll be the behind the scenes master mind coordinating fundraising efforts for nonprofits or educational institutions. Now you might be planning virtual fundraising events, writing grant proposals, or managing donor databases. And it's kind of like being a financial alchemist, turning ideas and relationships into funding for worthy causes. And many organizations offer these positions with flexible work from home options, including night shifts to accommodate global donors. And a development coordinator assembles and delivers campaign supplies, coordinates company partners, and keeps everything on track. And this person also answers the phone to meet clients and donors. Now the pay for this role typically ranges from 48 to $69,000 a year. So it pays a little bit better than some of the other ones on the list, even though you're going to be doing similar work. Now, if you haven't done it already, this would be a great time for you to hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on future videos full of money making ideas. Now let's talk about a role that's perfect for all of you organizational wizards out there, project manager. And normally this would be a job that's really hard to get into at the entry level without a degree or previous experience. However, it's gonna be easier for you to get into it if you're willing to do the night shift. And as a project manager working night shifts, you'll be the puppet master pulling the strings on complex projects across different time zones. Now, by the way, if you want training on how to become a project manager, because it's actually different for a lot of different types of companies out there, again, check out the links in the description in the pinned comment below for Coursera. They have phenomenally good training on how to become a project manager manager, including the Google project management professional certificate. Now, when you're working as a project manager for the night shift, you might be coordinating teams in New York and Tokyo, managing budgets or putting out fires before the day shift even knows they exist. So it's kind of like being a chess grandmaster, but instead of pieces, you're moving people and resources across a global board. And many companies, especially those with international operations, offer these positions with work from home options.
positions, including the night shift. And just as an example, Maria is a project manager and she coordinates multiple teams delivering efficient solutions by focusing on minimum viable products. Now, the pay for this role can be quite lucrative, with many project managers earning between seventy-eight dollars and $131,000 a year or more. Now, generally speaking, you would be starting off in the lower side of things, especially if you don't have a college degree or previous experience. But this is one of those roles where you can make a lot of money down the line and you can transfer into other positions that make even more. Next, let's talk about a job that might surprise you, which is a workbook designer. Now, this is similar to another job that I've talked about a lot on this channel, which is instructional instructional design, but as a workbook designer working the night shift, you would be creating engaging interactive materials for online courses or educational programs. And you might be designing exercises for language learning apps, crafting worksheets for a business course, or developing interactive quizzes for a science program. And it's like being a digital arts and crafts guru, but instead of glitter and popsicle sticks, you're working with pixels and interactive elements. And many educational technology companies offer these positions with flexible work from home options, including night shifts to accommodate global teams teams and clients. And a professional workbook designer transforms basic content into visually engaging branded booklets that are flexible for print or digital use, ensuring clear structure and user-friendly design for effective learning. And the pay for this role typically ranges from fifty dollars to $82,000 a year, with potential for more based on your skills and experience. Now, generally speaking, they do prefer a college degree for this role. In many cases, people who get educational degrees or people who used to be teachers end up going into this role. However, especially if you're applying for the night shift, they don't always require a college degree or previous experience. So this would be a great opportunity for you to get your foot in the door. And once you have experience, your degree doesn't really matter. Now, by the way, you probably loved a lot of these work from home jobs, but I did another video where I covered 19 other work from home jobs that you can do. There's so many opportunities out there and you can check that video out by clicking right here.